It's gonna be a good day. It's time for a run through. Gosh, okay, here it goes. I know, you didn't ask. You ever try to be honest when somebody asks you how you are? That shit is awkward. It's like, shit's been rough, man. My mom's been in and out of the hospital, you know. So I'm drinking most nights, which makes mornings tough. But how are you? How have you been? It's much easier to just lie and say good, right? Even if you don't mean it. Look at this, my face. People who are fucking don't sound like that. Things are good means that the fucking has stopped. There's no fucking going on at all anymore. And that's okay, you know? It's okay to not be fucking. We all go through phases. Okay, I'm not here to shame you for having a sexless love life. But I am gonna tell you that it's over. Yeah. I mean, unless it's just a phase, which honestly you're probably in denial about. That shit's over. You gotta leave. Why are you staying? You know, it's not like it's gonna get better from here. When was the last time you heard somebody go, man, when we stopped fucking, that's when things got really great. No, right? You know, if you look over at the person you love and you're like, mm, mm, like it's time to go. Why? Why are you still there? I asked my friend and she was like, I don't know, you know, it's complicated. It's complicated. Life is complicated. Anybody here have a complicated Valentine's Day? Man, it's the worst, right? Because it's like make or break. Either you make this awesome or we are breaking up. I mean, that must be the real reason Cinderella had to go home. All these hard cocks running around looking for a hole to burrow into. Like, oh, when the clock strikes midnight, you out of there, girl. Anyway, I don't know how to end this, so I'm just going to end it like I do most of my relationships. Poorly. <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks so much, you guys. Shit. Just walking around, repeating the shit out of this set. Gotta get the flow of it in my brain for tonight. I'm feeling pretty good, but definitely not all the way there. Always would be awesome to have a couple more days. Um, but that's my fault for not getting this serious about it a couple days ago. Uh, it's going well. I'm gonna do like speed throughs, you know, where it's like boom, bang, bing, bing, bing. I'm gonna do it really fast because it's easier to slow it down, for me at least. No, I know, you didn't ask. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna get into it because you don't wanna hear it. When somebody asks you how you're doing, you're supposed to be good, right? You're supposed to go like this. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. The truth makes people like really uncomfortable. You ever notice that? You ever try to be honest when somebody asks you how you've been? Your face can be saying something else as long as your mouth is saying good, right? I can go, good. And that is a perfectly acceptable answer. How fucking crazy, man. Things have been great. I mean, really, really good. That is what people who are fucking sound like. I am single. And for single people, there are no expectations on Valentine's Day. It's not our holiday. In fact, it's the one day I can almost guarantee I will have to myself. Because the fuck boys go into hiding on Valentine's Day. You won't see them. You won't hear from them. And they won't be thinking of you. Well, they might be thinking, I hope she's still down to fuck without it meaning anything tomorrow. <sighs> fuck boys. <sighs> so no one asked me out for Valentine's Day. And it's okay, it's okay. Seriously, it's just another day, right? And I actually had a really good day. I got a whole bunch of stuff done. I scrubbed the floors, cleaned the bathroom, hung out with my dog, had a glass of wine, watched some Netflix. It was a good day, it was a productive day. I was in bed by midnight. I should seriously try not dating shitty guys all the time. So, I'm laying there in bed, I'm like about to fall asleep and my phone goes off. I get a text, I'm like, hmm. Hey, I'm at the bar. You should come down. Are you seriously booty texting me right now on Valentine's Day? Wait, wait, wait. You think you cannot take me to dinner and not do anything thoughtful for me and still get ass on Valentine's Day? What the fuck are you thinking? What? Oh, like no. And then it dawns on me. It's 1228. 
It's not Valentine's Day anymore. The clock has struck midnight. Cinderella has gone home. And all the fuckboys have come back out to play. They're like, oh, it's over? You down to fuck? <sighs> all right, well, I don't know how to end this, so I'm going to end it uh, like most of my relationships by leaving in the middle of the night. <laughs> Thanks so much. You guys have been great. I don't like that ending. Okay, feeling a little bit better. I feel like I got a pretty good flow, but when you add nerves into the mix, sometimes that shit can go right out the window. So I'm gonna keep on practicing, keep on practicing. And then just hope people laugh. Fuck, man, I hope people fucking laugh. Ah, you never know when you're writing these jokes. And it's also so much about delivery. If I'm fucking nervous or doubting myself or if I deliver the jokes wrong, I mean, nobody could laugh. It could be a, a no laugh situation. I don't know how many people are gonna be there. I hope a lot, but also like, do I? Like I could be asking people to show up to watch me publicly embarrass myself. It's very possible. Uh, it's the nature of advertising these shows is so ridiculous. It's like, come see my show, come see it, come do it, come to my show. And then like, you better bring it. Like, what if I don't bring it? What if I made all these people come to my show and then I'm like, so, paper towels, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> you know, like, fuck, dude. It's okay, it's gonna be fine. It's going to be fine. I think I am pretty solid on it, um, but I'm still nervous because there's always a chance I'll have a total mind fuck and just be like, the hell? Uh, and more and more people are texting me and being like, I'm coming! And, so like, I don't know, I could have like 10 people there. I don't, I don't know, but I'm like kind of freaking out and uh, I'm about to leave to go record my voiceover demo, which is fun. I'm like still trying to pick the spots that I'm doing, but I think I'm gonna do Trojan condoms for women, uh, St. Ives apricot scrub, and Xfinity, which I don't even actually know what that is. Uh, so I should probably look that up. Universal Studios Boulevard. I'm definitely cutting it really close, which is risky because, like, if I am late, it cuts into my studio time directly. I have 15 minutes in the studio. So if I'm five minutes late, I got 10 minutes in the studio. And I'll be walking in super stressed or running in from the parking lot. Like, what the fuck am I doing? But I had to deal with a crisis, okay? I had to deal with a fucking crisis situation. My booker, the guy who got me the show at the comedy store, texted me and was like, show's sold out. If you don't have five people who already bought tickets, you can't perform tonight, which would mean maybe three people that I know who did buy tickets would just not get to see me perform. In a quarter of a mile. Turn left on Universal Studios Boulevard. There aren't any refunds, like that would be it. Um, so I'm freaking out, right? And then I had to buy a whole bunch of tickets last minute cause you know, I'm texting people like, hey, did you get a ticket? They're like, no, did I need to? I'm like, ugh, yes. You're left on Universal Studios <sighs> Boulevard. So even though he said it was sold out, I managed to buy three more tickets after the deadline. Thank God Veronica had bought her tickets like just minutes before he told me it was sold out. And so now I'm definitely going on tonight and I can't wait. It should be super fun. Um, but I had to deal with all of that on top of trying to eat before I left. And it just kind of threw a wrench in my whole fucking zen. I swear I was zen as fuck before that happened. Um, so yeah, now I'm running almost late. I mean, they said get there 15 minutes early and I'm definitely going to be late for that. So it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Well, I did it. It's done and did it. Um, I hope it's good. I was in there for less than 15 minutes. Um, you know, whatever though. It's behind me now and it wasn't the worst. I think it sounded pretty good. <laughs> I think we got something in now. Something. Okay, now I have like an hour until my show. <laughs> All right, this is it. It's the culmination of my insane week. After this, I get to chill a little bit, but uh, first I gotta get through it, so. Ah, wish me luck, man. They're all like, cut it shorter. That's literally every lesbian's hair tip. Have you tried buzzing one side of it off? That's good. That's like. He goes, Mike, are you seriously eating that crap? You got any idea what they do to the animals in that food? I go, Pfft. 
I didn't even know they still used real animals. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn or anything, but uh, I was great tonight, man. I was fucking great tonight. I killed, people loved it. I had eight people come out, which was awesome. It was so cool, some of my fucking coworkers came out, my girls, my girls from work. Um, that was such a sweet surprise, and Veronica came, that's what's up. Uh, my bro was there, Dylan came, like, these are all the people I care about. My awesome neighbor came out to support. So cool. So cool. Um, yeah, I wish you could have seen, but no video. Alright. It's late. I'm super tired, so it's time for bed. Um, but I made it. I fucking made it. And god damn it, people like me. <laughs>